Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am finally back in front of the camera in this new year, so happy 2021. I still can't believe that Christmas and New Year are already over just like that and we're in a new year and it doesn't really feel like it and honestly I'm struggling to find motivation to really do anything these days especially since we are in a state of emergency lockdown right now you would think that being cooped up in my house would kind of get me like stir crazy enough to be motivated to find things to do but I'm finding it's quite the opposite so that's why it's taken me so long to get back on here on YouTube, but I forced myself today and I'm filming something that I'm very passionate about. So I can't wait to get this out there and just get my weekly videos up and running again. I missed you all and for all of my fellow Swifties, I think me and my sister might film a short reaction just to the additional two songs on the Evermore album. So. Let me know in the comments below if you would like that. So for today's video, just given this transformative energy that this new year has come in with, you know, a lot of us are maybe setting different goals and goals surrounding health and fitness. I think the general consensus is that we all tend to set goals that pursue the journey to becoming our best selves. We wanna feel our best, we wanna look our best, and we wanna show up as our best selves. I am going to be talking about my journey on the birth control pill, as well as my recent decision to get off the pill, what that was like, how I'm feeling now. The main reason I want to share this with you guys is because I personally feel that that decision in my life was one of the best decisions that I've made. I'm not making this video with the intention of, you know, influencing your opinion or swaying you one way or the other. I'm not telling you what to do. I also want to preface this by saying I'm not a healthcare professional. Any decisions that you make regarding your body should be discussed with your doctor. My only hope and intention going into filming this video and sharing it with you is if anything that it serves the purpose of simply being a catalyst for conversation. I simply want to share some information with you in case there are people that haven't had access to this kind of information because I know that when I first went on the pill, I didn't. I think it's extremely important for us to be making informed decisions, especially when it comes to our bodies. And it's really hard to do that when you don't have all the information. So this is for anyone who maybe hasn't had access to this kind of information regarding birth control. This is for anyone who is maybe considering getting off the pill. Um, maybe anyone who's on the pill currently and is experiencing some adverse side effects. And it's also for people who are maybe considering getting on the pill. Please take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is simply my experience. We cannot talk about birth control without also talking about hormones. Hormones are chemical messengers found in our bodies that are directly secreted into our bloodstream. And from there, they travel to our tissues, our organs, and they influence things like cognitive function, metabolism, growth and development, as well as our mood. Our hormones are such a vital component of our complete being. They influence who we are and how we behave on every level of the self, physical, mental, emotional, psychological. If your hormones are out of whack, everything is out of whack. Birth control is essentially a synthetic form of specific hormones that are naturally found in the body. So basically, we're putting in these fake hormones and we're giving them this huge responsibility. They're completely overtaking the whole hormone production system that our body naturally already does. So think of your hormones as like little employees and they work for you, they help serve you, they help make sure things are running smoothly. It's as if we are inserting these little robots and we are letting them run the show. We are giving them this huge job of taking care of us. For some reason, I always think of, I think it was the second Santa Claus movie where they create that fake Santa Claus and they give him the job of running the North Pole. And if you've seen that movie, you know it turns out disastrous. The point I'm trying to get across is that birth control is fake 
hormones and we are pumping our bodies with them and trusting them to do a good job of making sure that we are fully healthy and fully functioning and I don't know about you but just saying it out loud just describing what it is seeing it for what it is it sounds wrong it feels wrong to be intervening with my body's natural process it doesn't feel healthy and it doesn't feel healthy to be putting things into it that are synthetic that are manufactured that are not real so by taking the birth control pill for however many months or years we are <laughs> inevitably going to end up with a chronic suppression of our naturally occurring hormones which is only going to leave us with a really big hormone imbalance i hope that my description of what hormones are and what purpose they serve and how truly valuable they are kind of gives you an idea of why a hormone imbalance might not be a good thing if your hormones are out of whack everything is out of whack it's not going to look good it's not going to feel good and things are just not going to function properly i first got on the pill about five six years ago it's important to note that prior to actually making the decision and taking the plunge and going on the pill my doctor had been pushing the pill on me for years prior to that. I'll be honest and say that the only reason I didn't dive into it any sooner was because I was very deep into an eating disorder. And so I worried that going on the pill would make me gain weight. If it wasn't for that, I definitely would have been on the pill a lot sooner. When I finally decided to get on the pill, it was me at a very desperate point in my life. I was still very much in the eating disorder I was depressed and my doctor was very well aware of my mental health struggles and over the years he had always kind of painted this picture of birth control for me as kind of being the end-all be-all solution to all of my struggles. He actually tried to convince me that the pill was going to help all of my depression, my anxiety, that the pill would somehow regulate my hormones and everything would go back to normal. But of course, as I said, I always rejected his offers because I was too afraid to gain weight. If you have any knowledge or understanding of eating disorders, you will probably understand that me finally deciding to take the pill despite my fear of gaining weight was obviously a very desperate point in my life. That fear had always been very intense, but I had finally gotten to a place in my life where my desire to feel better was stronger than my desire to feed the eating disorder. I was ready to do anything, and so I agreed to start the pill. I also did suffer from really bad cramping, so that was also part of his reasoning behind you know, telling me that this was a good decision. So yes, here I was, <laughs> vulnerable and just absolutely grasping at straws. So I, I trusted my doctor. And this is the part that kind of upsets me looking back. It upsets me that a lot of information about this big decision for me at the time was withheld from me. All I really got was like a sales pitch. It will make your periods more pleasant. It will clear your skin. It will help your mental health, which at the time was the only thing in the world that I wanted. This bothers me because I was so young and I keep saying it, but vulnerable and I feel almost taken advantage of. I wasn't in the right headspace to, you know, critically think or ask more questions. I trusted that my doctor had my best intentions, that he wouldn't put me in harm's way, and, you know, I still don't think that he would. I, I don't have any ill will towards my doctor. I kind of understand that there is a whole business side to the healthcare industry involving the pharmaceutical aspect of it and I respect that this is people's livelihoods 
but I think that if that's the case and if this is how we're doing it, there needs to be some changes. You know, everybody's bodies are different and birth control comes with its risks. Doctors need to be more careful when prescribing the pill and be more thorough in the prescribing process. If you're going to be prescribing a pharmaceutical to somebody who is experiencing discomfort or health issues concern, it is or it should be your duty to give them the full scope of what you are telling them to put in their bodies. That's my two cents. There's two different types of packs you can go on. There's the classic pack that has the week of seven sugar pills that you either take or don't take, but it's, you know, there's no hormones in there. So that is the week that you're supposed to get your period. Or there's a 28 day pill pack, which is what I took. So I was taking a pill every day. One of the first things I experienced after getting on this pill was an intensified depression experience. As I mentioned, I was depressed when I went on it and I was convinced it would help me to get on the pill, but I experienced quite the opposite. You know, being depressed, I had fleeting thoughts, suicidal thoughts, more so just passing ones, I guess. Like, I wouldn't consider the thoughts that I had in the past to be, I mean, they're serious, but I, I kind of knew I wasn't, I wasn't planning anything. I wasn't really ready and I knew I wasn't ready. It wasn't until after I was already on the pill for a bit that I experienced suicidal thoughts at a whole new scary level. I'd experienced depression for a couple years prior to actually getting on the pill and I have to say my experience after getting on the pill was extremely different in the sense that it was amplified. It was extremely intense. I hadn't known my depression to be that intense and you know that should say a lot given the fact that when I decided to get on the pill it was an act of desperation. The depression took over my life in a way that it hadn't before. So essentially my mental health was the worst it has been. Another thing that I noticed since taking the pill is I experienced a lot of digestive gut issues. The way I would describe this is really just an intense discomfort in my body, in my stomach area, um, irregularities with like bowel movements, TMI, sorry. Some days I would honestly just be in so much pain from how bloated I was. And a lot of people don't know this, but the pill is notoriously linked to Crohn's disease and gastrointestinal issues. I will be completely transparent and say that I acknowledge that a lot of my gastro issues could be the result of some of my eating disorder behaviors. So um, yeah, I just wanna be open about that and, and not seem like I'm just blaming the pill for this. Um, there's a lot of things that can attribute to experiencing these gut issues, but I just did notice that after getting on the pill, um, it became more of a regular and intense experience for me. For the first time in my life, I started suffering from headaches and they would be really bad. I remember, you know, being in school and really struggling with that. Then a couple years went by and all of a sudden I was getting migraines. I wake up and I feel like I've been hit by a car. I can't keep my eyes open. I can't keep any food or water down. All I can do is vomit. I was experiencing them so frequently just out of nowhere that I would live in fear. I would be afraid to go to sleep because I was afraid of waking up with one the next day. And honestly, living that way, just in fear, anticipating the next episode is, it's so depressing. Because you know, on migraine days, it's like I, I literally can't do anything other than lay in my bed and throw up. I can't eat. I can't, you know, do work or school or anything productive. I have a puppy. So the year that I started really experiencing these migraines was the year that I had her in her first year. So, you know, puppies demand a lot of attention and I, I felt guilty. I felt like I couldn't, 
I couldn't show up in life the way I wanted to. The last alarming side effect I experienced post getting on the pill was that I completely lost my period. So I had actually lost my period once before. This was when I was really heavy into my eating disorder. I remember going to the doctor, the same one that actually, you know, prescribed me the birth control pill. I just remember that first time losing my period. It was this big concern and you know it was made very clear to me that this was bad that i needed to intervene i needed to make changes and you know it was just blatantly obvious that this was not a good thing and i remember feeling afraid so then when i went on the pill and i lost my period a couple months go by a year goes by another year goes by and Every time I asked my doctor if this was normal, if this was okay, I, you know, I brought it to his attention. It was interesting that this time his response was so different. He was absolutely not worried. Um, he didn't recommend that I look into it any further. Um, he just told me that it was actually normal for this type of pill that, you know, my period gets reduced. Um, and I would kind of question that, like, okay, there's reduced and then there's eliminated. But he would always assure me that this was completely normal and completely fine. It was just weird because I had experienced the exact same thing just under two different circumstances. And why was it that this time it was okay? This might sound a little crazy. I don't know if anyone out there is similar to me and having these thoughts, but I remember as like a young adolescent when I first got my period and then every time I would get it going forward, I would always feel a sense of relief, not because of the pregnancy stuff, but truly I just felt like, okay, like I'm in tune with my body. This is good. This is healthy. This means that one day, you know, I can have babies. I just felt very connected to my body as a woman. So then not having that anymore I was always kind of anxious I was always wondering like is everything okay I would sometimes get like completely random like spotting but I never had a period and I'm talking in the whole six years of me being on that pill over time I think the migraines were kind of my tipping point because it was just so extreme. I know you may have thought that losing my period would have been my moment, but it wasn't, especially because I had brought it up to my doctor so many times and received nothing but reassurance. So I kind of went on my merry way and kept taking it. But once the migraines started happening and, you know, I had run so many tests with no answers, I, I felt <laughs> helpless. And I started looking into I started researching about the pill and there's actually a lot more information out there today like there's a lot of girls out there talking about this on TikTok, on YouTube and you know of course Google has just a ton of resources as I did the research I felt in my gut that this wasn't right for me anymore this is not me sharing my opinion about birth control. You know, I always advocate for women and men to do whatever feels right for you. And so I'm just sharing that at a point one day, birth control no longer felt right for me. Even though I had all this information in front of me and you know, I also had the evidence which was my physical experience so I could really connect the dots. It was still difficult for me to actually make the decision to get off the pill and a large part of that was just hearing horror stories about the challenges that come after getting off the pill. You know, the hormone imbalance that you're left with. I've heard that you'll get the worst period of your life after that. You're gonna get acne, you might gain weight, you're gonna be all over the place mentally, mood swings, depression, all that stuff. I would always make excuses for not just getting off of it because I would say, you know, it's not the right time right now. Like I need to be mentally in a good place. I can't afford to have 
you know, mood swings right now. I can't be unstable right now. I can't go through these horrible, painful periods. I can't suffer from acne because I finally feel like I'm in a good place with my self-esteem and, you know, it's just not a good time. For anyone considering getting off, if you feel in your gut that it's the right thing to do, if you feel like birth control is no longer serving you, my one piece of advice is that it's never going to be the right time. It's never going to be a good time to experience any of this stuff. But the longer you wait, the longer you prolong this, the harder it's going to be to get off. And of course, the longer you stay on it, the more you just prolong whatever side effects you may be experiencing. So the first month, I didn't get a period. By month two, it came and ever since then, it comes regularly at the same time i always know when to expect it it feels so good to feel reconnected to my body of course i'm approaching 30 so you know kids and a family is something that i want so you know getting my period now is like it's weird but it's like kind of like a celebration like i feel like you know everything is okay like we're back to normal we're supposed to be going through this this is part of womanhood and I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm happy to say I have also not had a single migraine since getting off the pill. I do get headaches um, a lot less than I used to though, and none of them have gotten to that extreme point of vomiting or anything like that. And you know, there's some things that aren't necessarily tangible. This is not a physical thing by any means. I just feel like myself. I, I don't know how else to put that, but it's almost like I had this veil on when I was on the pill and it was just suppressing parts of me and I just, I feel so light and I feel like I've never been more myself. Mentally and emotionally, I'm feeling in control. I do still experience sadness or, you know, difficult emotions. It's part of being human, but I feel more in control. I feel more grounded when I go through those emotions. A couple months after I'd gotten off the pill, I remember my boyfriend had said that he noticed that I was a lot less irritable. For me, the implications of this decision have just been so positive. Maybe this is like the little push that somebody out there needs. And if that's the case, then try to go into it with a positive mindset. That's what I did. I was kind of just fully ready to listen to my body. I was prepared for the worst, but I wasn't fearing it. I wasn't thinking about it constantly. I wasn't obsessing over it. I kind of just went into it thinking, I'm doing this for my body and, you know, we will conquer the obstacles as they come. I did experience some headaches the first two, three weeks. I did struggle a little bit with acne, a little bit of breakouts. I still do a little bit. If this is the journey that you're about to embark on, I would recommend um, just really reeling in on the food that you're eating. Try to avoid like sugar, try to avoid fast food, like junky food. When your hormones are out of whack as they will be after birth control, you really want to make sure to be fueling your body with good nutrients. It's really going to help in the transition. It's going to help with your mood. Um, it's going to help with making sure that, you know, if you do have some breakouts, they won't be as bad as they could be. Obviously, sugary and junky foods kind of contribute to breakouts. They contribute to mood swings, depressive feelings. So anything that you can do to kind of intervene and prevent some of those things, or at least lessen the degree to which you experience them, I encourage you to. So really just try and eat healthy, wholesome food, lots of water, try and move your body if you can. It doesn't have to be intense exercise. Before actually getting off the pill, I had read that a lot of women will actually significantly cut their carbs, um, just in an effort to combat any weight gain that might happen. And what I read was that you actually don't want to do that. You're in the process of trying to get your body back into a state of balance, of homeostasis, which is just like a neutral happy point for your body. You don't want to do any extreme. So don't cut out any food groups. Try and eat as balanced as you can. Do some exercise, but also don't go to the extremes. Maybe try and avoid like hit interval training and even like that high intensity stuff for a bit. Just do some walking, jogging, um, like light dumbbell exercises. That's what I did. Lastly, I do want to talk about some supplements that I looked into prior to getting off the pill um, that are supposed to aid in 
this whole process and I'm just going to share with you the ones I've been taking. Um, I'll give like a little snippet of why I've been taking them. I truly feel like my experience getting off the pill was fairly easy. Like there was nothing drastic that was uncomfortable. Um, I've had a really positive experience. I have been taking these supplements consistently since getting off. So maybe my positive experience has something to do with the supplementation. Um, so if that interests you, I'm just gonna share that. So the first one I would recommend getting if you're getting off the birth control pill is Milk Thistle. So this guy here supports your liver, which is extremely important when getting off the pill because your liver is the guy that processes all the hormones. So when you're on the pill, your liver was working hard to process all the artificial hormones. Now getting off the pill, your hormones are kind of all over the place and the goal is to rebalance them. So this is really gonna help, you know, give some more strength back to your liver. Birth control depletes you of a lot of your B complex vitamins. So I did pick up B6 and B12. These are really important for metabolism and I actually was deficient in B12 a while back. So I have to be consistent and on top of that anyways, because being deficient in these doesn't feel good. So these next two I'm just gonna mention together at the same time, only because these are the top two um, nutrients that apparently birth control really depletes people of. So when you're getting off the pill, a lot of people are found to be depleted specifically in these two, and that is iron and magnesium. Nothing happened there because it's empty. I have to get more. <laughs> Iron helps get oxygen throughout your whole entire body and it also helps in the production of hormones, which you really want right now. You really want to strengthen that natural hormone production after being depleted for a while. And magnesium is so important for regulating muscle and nerve function. So this one is actually really helpful for if you suffer from anxiety and depression. It can really, really help with any of like the mental health stuff. So I guess I will just wrap up there. I think that's really all I have left. Left to say on this topic. Overall, like I said, this was just the best decision I've made in a while and I'm really just indulging in all the positive effects of making it. I hope this was helpful or at the very least interesting. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.